millions of people across North America will look to the heavens as the moon passes in front and between the sun of the, and the earth. And it's a rare sight that we haven't seen in seven years. Carolina Institute of Climate Studies also provided this interactive map Eclipses have a special power. They move people to feel a kind of reverence for the beauty of our universe. Their power is not only to unify us on Earth, but to further science and discovery. Percentage of clear sky during the eclipse at all these different locations. Safety is always NASA's number one priority, and that remains true for this solar, solar eclipse. Make sure you have the proper eye protection, like the eclipse glasses. And as you look at the heavens on April the 8th, when the eclipse starts, please, please put those glasses on just right so you get that shadow cast um, and based on the thing that's so unique about a solar eclipse is that it's an opportunity to look at three celestial bodies the earth the moon and the sun in entirely different ways than we usually do and our scientists are going to take full advantage of this celestial event to get invaluable data one focal point is definitely the sun's atmosphere or the corona. So this is a very elusive region and it can be viewed during a solar eclipse in a very special way. It's key to understanding fundamental questions about how heat and energy are transferred out into the solar wind, which contributes to our understanding not just of solar dynamics, but also how solar flares and the solar wind will affect life here on Earth. We're also leveraging this unique opportunity to look at the effect of the sun on the Earth's atmosphere, particularly the ionosphere. That's the electrically charged part of our atmosphere that can act as a conduit for many of our communications and navigation signals. So understanding how solar energy affects the ionosphere is crucial for predicting and mitigating potential disruptions to our technology.